it's time to work on our floor. Uh, I actually picked today, it was really windy, so I talked the old man into helping me lift some panels up with his lull. So we actually just staged them up there. So I got all the rest of the panels marked and they're just stacked up on the roof. But it was really windy today uh, and it's a weekday. So actually technically tomorrow is New Year's, tonight's New Year's Eve. And uh, so I wanted to get a couple of loads of this uh, crushed base. This is a, they call it a fines, it's about a paver base. It's pretty uh, small crushed. They sell a course, which is like a number four. Uh, and then this is a base, road base, I think they call it. And it's about $16 a ton. So that's about 7,000 pounds worth in the trailer. So this, I put a thin layer of clay, and clay is really hard to grade out. It's just really clumpy. The second you skim over it, it, it kind of hardens up, and I had a real hard time getting it smooth, but this stuff's great. You can drag it with a rake and get it real nice and smooth and level. So we've put in uh, some spots, it's really thin, it's just kind of covering over the clay and smashing into the top surface of the clay. Uh, but in other spots, it's kind of picking up the difference, helping me level out highs and lows. So we've got it all, and say within a quarter of an inch or so, and it's time to pack it in. So we've got that pea gravel down. I didn't get a lot of footage of, I was on a time crunch today, so I didn't get a lot of footage of actually hauling the materials. But we dumped this load, I graded it with the rake and the tractor. Got it fairly close, now I've been doing it with a hand rake, and I've got my laser level. And so now we're just going to run back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and uh, kind of pack all this in. And what it does, it jiggles the rocks together and helps eliminate some of the voids when you... You can kind of tell the difference between on the right-hand side that's packed and on the left-hand side it's not. Uh, you can tell it kind of, when you look real close, it flattens out the rocks and jiggles them all together. Uh, whereas, you know, here they're kind of sitting tall and they're, they're spaced out and everything, so it jiggles them all nice and hard packed. It's pretty solid uh, when you walk on it and drive on it and this is just the pea gravel uh, when the paver base goes on and that gets packed it's I mean it's not like a slab but it's close for what I'm doing and all of this ran me I think that load this load I just got was like 60 bucks and the other load was like 120 bucks so um, that's pretty cheap uh, compared to what this would cost if I had a concrete truck come in so we're gonna roll it like that for now. We're gonna pack it in. I'll put a thin, couple of thin layers uh, and lay in the paver base, a couple of inches of that, and pack it in until I feel like it's pretty solid. Remember most of this, you know, I'll drive in as I bring logs in, but for the most part, I'm just walking on this. The mill will sit on it and I'll be walking on it. Uh, so it's not like it's it gets a, a ton of load or anything like that. Um, but, you know, it'd be nice to have it all, uh, a nice level, even ground rather than walking around in the soft sand. Well, I'm losing daylight. Let me uh, maybe throw some work lamps up and start making passes with the, with the plate compactor.